As I witness jaw squeeze down on Guatemala's throat, I wonder about my 12-year-old cousin. I wonder if, as she gets older, she starts seeing things she didn't catch before. Moments with fingers she can't quite shake from her consciousness. At night, around the dinner table, the Last Supper stares her down from the wall. I wonder if her ears start picking up deep frequency fears in her parents' whispers when they think she's asleep. I wonder if the barbed wire looped over every wall doesn't glitter like Christmas lights anymore so much as teeth. As her body grows two targets on her chest and a bullseye between her legs, I wonder if she starts noticing men. How their eyes start to crawl beneath her clothes, hungry fingers dusted with dark street promises. I wonder if she walks a little faster on the way home from school. And I wonder if she wonders why her twin brother doesn't scan the sidewalk before stepping outside too. I wonder if the faint gunshots that echo to her bed in the night have started sounding a bit closer. I wonder if she begins to hate looking out windows because they only remind her of how trapped she feels. I wonder if, as she gets older, she starts dreading her birthday because each year she makes it through feels like one more odd stacked against her. Because watching the small fires of cheap pink candles get smothered one by one looks a little bit too much like her luck running out. She was small. Once. Eyes exposed in wonder, rosebud mouth, soft with awe. Gazing out at Anya and the fireworks from the top off. Fireworks. Almost as bright as her. Now, I wonder if she is learning to shield her eyes. Hard. Always darting pressing her lips into an uninviting line. I wonder if she is learning to carry herself with the kind of steel that can be possessed by a girl who became a woman in a city of stolen things.